hello students welcome back to my youtube channel supreme learning academy so here i see uh, semester 2 exams are going on so today maths finished so next exam will be the geography here the specimen question papers are solved so here the question number one section one you have to attempt all questions section one an outlining map of india provided mark and name the following so here uh, himalayas river ganga chennai then western gods gulf kutch so here this we have to uh, name so only section one will finish here only you have to mark so you'll get the answer so here see i have made the answers this is the pdf uh, paper pdf solutions if you want comment me i'll give pdfs uh, in this one file yeah i'll give link you can download it from there so here you have to give mark like uh, like this one two three four roma number uh, then you have to shade the different uh, different shades here so first one here like this second one here third one here you have to just mark so each carries one mark so this is the section one section one all questions are finished then come to section b we have to attempt any three questions here in question number two first one give any one use of manganese so why we use manganese we have to write then why is copper used in electrical appliances in electric in electrical appliances we use copper why so you have to give answers for this here i have made the answers Ah, manganese is used in the manufacturing of steel manganese gives the steel strength and hardness this is the answer for first one then for second one copper is used in electrical appliances due to its low resistance and excellent conductivity it is ductile and relatively less resistance to corrosion so here this is the answer then come to the second question what is second question in question number two second one give two advantages of using natural gas over coal so over coal we use natural gas what is the advantages so answer is natural gas burns almost completely up to the mark leaving no ash pile behind natural gas produces about half as much carbon dioxide as coal to produce the same amount of energy so this is why natural gas is good compared to coal then come to the question number three in question number two sub question is three Ah, so your question number two, sub question three, with reference to Bakra Nangal Dam, answer the following. So Bakra Nangal Dam, on which river is it situated? Name any two states benefited by Bakra Nangal. So Bakra Nangal Dam, in which state it is? In which river it is situated? And there we have to mention the two states that is benefited by Bakra Nangal Dam. So answer is. The two advantages Bakranangal Dam is situated on Satluj River. The states benefited by Bakranangal Dam are Haryana, Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, and Punjab. So these are the states that is benefited by Bakranangal Dam. Then come to question number two four. sub question is four mention two advantages of using biogas then how how has the nuclear power contributed in reducing the pressure on conventional sources of energy so mention the two uses of biogas so answer for this is biogas is renewable and clean source of energy like solar and wind power which can help us in reducing our reliance on fossil fuels such as coal oil and natural gas biogas by products are used and organic fertilizers 
the nuclear power has contributed in reducing the pressure on the conventional sources of energy as it is more efficient than burning fossil fuels as the amount of energy released from the uranium per gram is much more than that of conventional fuels such as oil or coal approximately 8000 times more efficient in fact so this is the question number 2 so question number two is over then question number three mention two ways in which agriculture sector is important for india so why agriculture sector is important for india you have to write mention uh, two waves then name two agriculture then second one is name two agriculture season in india name the crop that grows in each season mentioned by you so in uh, question number three first question is mention two ways in which agriculture sector is important for india so why agriculture sector is important for indians the two ways in which agriculture sector is important for india is it is an important sector of indian economy as it is contributed about 20.19% according to ministry of agriculture sector 2021 to the total gdp it provides the main sources of food income and employment to about 70% of rural households so this was the two waves of uh, important of agriculture then come to question number 3 sub question 2 name any two agriculture season of india name one crop that grows in each of the season mentioned by you so here we have to write two, two seasons and the crop in this in that season respect to seasons so here answer are the two main agriculture seasons of india are rabi and kharif rabi october to november to march to april june july to september to october the crops that grown in each season are rabi wheat oat mustard barley gram linseed potatoes in kharif season the crops grown are rice maize cotton jowar sugarcane pulses jute bajra and ragi then question number 3 sub question 3 with reference to wheat cultivation answers the following name the soil found suitable for its growth so the soil where we can uh, grow wheat then name the state that is the largest producer of this crop why is this crops not grown in southern parts of india so this is the question answers are you have to write any three answers i have made all the questions uh, with answers if you want this file you can comment me i'll give link you can download this for notes directly to your phone so here where we produce wheat so alluvial soil the soil is alluvial soil rich in humus and loamy in texture with good structure and water holding capacity is ideal for wheat cultivation so highest largest producer of wheat in india is uttar pradesh wheat is not grown in southern part of india because the temperature required at the time of sowing wheat is 10 to 15 degree celsius which is not possible in this region wheat grow best in well drained loam and clay loam whereas southern india have a uh, lateralite and uh, red soil okay so this is question number 3 sub question 4 then question number 3 is finished sub question is 3 is finished then come to the next question fourth question name the largest producer of tea in india what is ginning now what is proning essential for tea crop so answer is the highest producer of tea is assam ginning is a process of removing seeds and debris from the cotton and the cotton gin machine separates the cotton fibers from the seeds bulls and dust particles which enable greater productivity than manual cotton separation then pruning is the method of cutting branches of tea bushes and uh, this method encourages the growth of tea shoots with softer leaves and to keep the plant about 1.2 meter high so that the leaves can be picked easily 
so this is the answers your question number four answers also there question number five answers also there question number six also there so i have made all the geography papers if you want this you can comment me i'll give the link so you can download it from there so thanks for watching stay tuned bye bye